friends, welcome to a late edition of Unboxing the Books with me, Miss Jen, and Miss Kristen on camera. Let's get started. Ooh, fossil hunters. When I was younger, I wanted to be an archaeologist, like in second grade. It was like my dream. Didn't pan out. I'm very happy where I am. But I think fossils are super cool. So this one is called Fossil Hunters by Tristan Coleman. Um, it's a science adventure series. Looks really, really cool. It's a lot larger than I thought it was. So, all about um, how they uncover all of the past. The next one, also in this same series, Amazon Explorers. Very, very cool. And this biography is The Fighting Infantrymen. The story of Albert D.J. Cashier, transgender Civil War soldier, written by Rob Sanders, illustrated by Nabi H. Ali. His United States of America has changed forever. So had Albert. Had it been easy? Had it been safe? No, not for a country trying to be what it was meant to be. No, not for a man trying to be who he was meant to be. This is the back. Definitely come and check this out. I love biographies. They just, especially picture book ones, because they just tell you what you need to know. All of your important information, plus they provide illustrations. It's just really, I mean, I like reading adult biographies as well, but I really do enjoy a good picture biography. Okay. Next up, Lizzo, breakout artist. So if she is someone that you enjoy, come check this out. Oh, Chris von Allsburg. I love him. He's such a great author and illustrator. Um, yeah, this is Queen of the Falls. Why had so many people gathered to watch a barrel plunge over the waterfall? Wouldn't tons of water pounding onto the rocks below have simply broken into pieces? And yet there they stood, watching and waiting, holding their breath, waiting, because they all knew the barrel was not empty. Because Queen of the Falls was in there. So this is about going down... Niagara Falls in a barrel. Talk about a death quiz. Looks super cool. I love his illustrations. Um, this is a true story. So this is also a biography. Come check this out. Next up, some novels. We have best-selling author Ali Carter, Winterborn Home for, I'm sorry, for Vengeance and Valor. Didn't see the V's at first. Okay, so this looks really good. I love adventures. Um, ooh, April didn't mean to start the fire. She wasn't the one who broke the vase. April didn't ask to go live in a big creepy mansion with a bunch of orphans who just don't understand that April isn't like them. After all, April's mother is coming back for her someday very soon. Oh, orphan Annie thought that too. All April has to do is find the clues her mother left inside the massive mansion, but Winterborn House is hiding more than one secret. So April and her friends are going to have to work together to unravel the riddle of a missing heir, a creepy legend, and a mysterious key before the only home they've ever known is lost to them forever. I really do love these adventure books. I think this will be great. Then there's The Dragon Egg Princess by Ellen O. And last but not least, my favorite category, picture books. This just looks adorable. Walter the Whale Shark and his teeny tiny teeth. Written by Katrine Crow, illustrated by Hazel Quintanilla. What do you do when you feel like you don't fit in? Find something that makes you stand out. I mean, the cover alone. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. Oh, but look at the illustration. Come and check this out. I love it. The yawns are coming. Ooh, actually, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Two best friends are planning to stay up all night playing, but then it happens. The yawns arrive, followed by a doze. The dreaded snores. Can the sleepies be far behind? Super cute book for trying to get your kids to go to bed. And the box turtle by Vanessa Roder. I mean, sometimes you have to think inside the box. Look at his friends. Oh, this is so cute. When Terrence was born, he was a little different from the other turtles, but he didn't mind. He loved his box. Until that is, someone points out that his warm and cozy box is a little, well, 
your shell is weird. And so Terrence begins a quest to see if there's a better shell out there for him. With its adorable plucky turtle, Vanessa Roder's irresistible story is all about finding the confidence to embrace what makes you unique. I love these kinds of stories. It's so important to empower all children, all people, but definitely kids, because I feel like a lot of the times they're told they can't do something, and that's something we should never, ever do. We should always tell them that they can do it, as long as it's safe. But um, this looks like a great book to empower the little ones in your life, so come and check this out. That's it, friends. It's a late edition. We actually have to get ready for Harry Potter trivia. Um, we will see you next week with some more great books that you can come and call us for curbside pickup. Have a great week. Bye-bye.